It is Chris from ggradio.net and today I'm making a quick video on how to use a piece of software called mp3 tag. mp3 tag is a piece of software used for editing the metadata of a song or an album or your whole music library. So it is really useful if you're doing any radio presenting because you want all your songs to look great and uh, regardless of wherever you get your music from, you know, if you have to convert it, it will reset all the metadata usually. And, you know, it's just better just to double check it all. I personally check all the metadata in my library and uh, change it to look how I like it to look. So this piece of software is really useful for me. So we're going to head over to Google Chrome or Oprah for me. And we're going to open up MB3 tag and uh, download it. So you just head over to download and uh, click this one, I presume. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, click this one and uh, it'll download and then you're done. Now, here are our bad songs that we have. Um, this is actually a artist I found called Silent Crowd and I really like their music so I downloaded it off of their SoundCloud. Unfortunately, there's no metadata, so I need to fix it and as you can see the titles look, quite frankly, horrible. So we're going to highlight them all and we're going to MP3 tag. So here we have mp3 tag open. Now as you can see this one here does actually have the metadata. These two don't. So we need to go and add it to these two. So this song is called Tonight as we can see here. So Tonight by Silent Crowd. I'm going to presume it's on tonight's single uh, 2016 probably. Uh, 01. Uh, I'm putting indie there. I think they're indie. I'm going to save that, then we're going to do that again, what you say, by a silent crowd, I'm going to presume it's what you say is single, 2016 again I'm going to presume, and indie, now obviously it's up to you to go and double check this information, but honestly I'm not too bothered, now a lot of these don't have, none of these have our mats, so I'm going to also show you how to add that in a moment, but that's not the primary thing here. Now, we want to actually correct the file name, as you see here, these look horrible. So, right click, convert tag to file name. Now, if you want the track, you can put track space artist dash title, uh, and it will come out like this, or you can put it like this, you know, it's completely up to you. Personally, I'm going to put it like this, oh, ignore the bed, sorry, uh, I'm going to put it like this. And uh, yeah, you do not need the bed, that was my fault. Now we're going to put it like that, and you're done. And now, if we go in here, it all looks great. So now I'm going to quickly head over and grab an album mat, and I'm also going to show you how to do that, and then I think we're done. I was actually only able to get these really small images, so you don't really want to do that, but you know, this is the example I had, so whatever. Uh, so you want to go onto here, select a song, like that, and then right click and add cover. Now this one's tonight, which is this cover, so open, and then just click save. And then we want to go to the next song, add cover, what you say, save. And then guess what we're going to do for the last one. There we go. That is beautiful. And uh, now you can see they've all got covers, they've all got the correct metadata if I open it up in properties. See, we've all got the correct metadata, and it look, it just looks a lot nicer in your library. And then it's ready to go into your Sam Broadcaster, or whatever software you want to use, or whatever. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, or head over to our forums at ggradio.net forward slash community. And I think that's about it.